y'all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady, and today I'm going to show you how to draw Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary. You're going to start by drawing one curvy line that's half of a heart, and then another curvy line coming down to a point at the bottom. You're going to need two hearts, so go ahead and draw a second one. If you have trouble drawing hearts, try making an M at the top and then connecting it at the bottom with a V. Now the Sacred Heart of Jesus has a crown of thorns around it. We're going to start by making one wavy line that goes all the way across the heart. Think of making waves like you would for water. Then you're going to come in with a second line and you're going to make the waves go in the opposite directions. Kind of makes little football shapes all the way across the heart. To make this really look like a crown of thorns, now you need to add the thorns. This is simple. You just put little triangle shapes all over the crown. The crown of thorns around the Sacred Heart reminds us that Jesus suffered for us. When you're done with your thorns, it's time to add a flame coming out of the top of the heart. I make this just look like a teardrop shape. It's a simple flame. The Sacred Heart also has a cross at the top. I'm drawing a simple cross, but you can make yours more complicated if you want. I'm adding flames to each side of the big flame with a small teardrop shape on the inside as well. Now you can add your flames to the Immaculate Heart of Mary also. The flames of Jesus' heart remind us that his love for us is so strong. It's a burning love. He's on fire with his love for us. And Mary, her heart is on fire with her love of Jesus. Now I'm going to add some circles to the Immaculate Heart because Mary's heart is surrounded by roses. I'm letting these circles overlap just a little bit. Then I'm going to come into each circle and add a swirly like it's a snail shell. I'm going to make some of my swirls go the opposite direction, just for a little variety. Now in the Bible at Jesus' presentation, Simon's prophecy to Mary said that her heart would be pierced with a sword. So we're going to add a sword, first with a small rectangle, then with a long skinny rectangle, then one more rectangle on top. It's going to have kind of a little notch at the top of it. To make our sword a little fancier, we're going to put circles on each side. Now you want your blade to look like it's going through, so try to line up the edges and make the point come through the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and color my handle in black. This sword reminds us of Mary's great sacrifice and all the sad sorrows that she had to feel on her heart when she watched the horrible things that happened to her son. Mary actually had seven great sorrows when it came to Jesus. You should look those up. Okay, so I'm just going to show you coloring my hearts in fast motion, but if you want to try to match my colors, you can pause the video at the end. You could color yours with crayons or colored pencils. Today I'm using markers, but um, sometimes I like to color my stuff with watercolors too. It's one of my favorites. If you enjoyed this how to draw today, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got more Catholic how to draws coming, and I think you guys will really like those ones too. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. As always, thank you so much for watching, and God bless. Thank you.